smoke is rolling and the wood is warming and the fire is burning very clean. Hello viewers and subscribers, Barbecue Rockstar here. Today is January 30th, 2022 and it's about 72 degrees here in North Texas. Uh, it's going to get very, very cold with wintry weather this coming week. So I thought I'd get out here and enjoy the beautiful weather and uh, do a little cooking so I can have something to munch on as the temperatures drop. I think uh, Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be down in the teens with wintry weather, wintry mix, snow, sleet, freezing rain, all the things. But today... Just a beautiful North Texas day. So, first of all, if you're tuning into this, thank you very much. Uh, I must apologize. Um, I've been slacking on my channel. I've been doing a lot of gambling. Uh, my tree and landscape business is very slow this time of year. So, uh, you know, not a whole lot going on. It's too cold out to be out here cooking. So, um, I've been slacking, but I, I figure that I'm going to... Uh, pick it back up here uh, after reading some of the old comments that I never even knew were hidden in my uh, YouTube editor. Um, I went back and read them and uh, to all of you guys who commented uh, and I didn't respond, I'm sorry, I didn't even see those comments. Uh, don't know why, but I didn't. Uh, but today's episode is gonna be quick and short and to the point and it's for my good buddy, uh, he goes by the handle of East Coast Slots on YouTube. If you haven't checked out his channel, you really should. Uh, I think he lives in Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Never met the guy in person, but uh, I've had several conversations with him. He's one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, great gambler, and I hope to, uh, hope to hook up with him soon and feed him some of this good barbecue. But the comment that I chose today to uh, react to was his. Uh, Maury, this one's for you. Uh, this is about fire management, okay? He said he wants to know about fire management from beginning to end. So let's, let's dive into that. Just like with any engine or any car, you have to have an engine, right? And a transmission. So there's your engine, folks. That's a half-inch firebox, half-inch thick steel there. Um... I've got a ash pan down below. I've got another half inch steel grate on top of that. And I've got a quarter inch, a three eighths inch uh, fire management system there, Murray. Uh, this is a, as you can see, it's a pyramid or a V shape, which funnels all the fuel down to the bottom. Uh, lets all the ashes dissipate through this right there, the expanded steel, that's really hot. And it falls through this grate onto the pan once it's cool, I pull that out and I, um, I empty those ashes. I use a little broom. I sweep the inside of that, get it really clean. I actually spray mine down with uh, canola oil after every use to keep the rust to a minimum because anybody at barbecues knows that the ashes that we create are very acidic. So let's go ahead and put another split on while we're talking about it. So, Murray, this one is for you and Tatiana. I uh, really do hope to get to spend with you guys soon, but this is my neck of the woods. This is what I do, brother. And this one's for you today. And for everybody else out there watching, too. We really appreciate it. Yeah, let's throw another one on there. You'll notice, guys, I, I keep my wood up here. That's my warming oven, by the way. Um, I keep my wood up here to keep it, uh, to keep it uh, you know, warmed up already. So... Uh, it combusts, it catches fire quicker and eat. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Hello, I'm hot. I'm about 300 degrees. Uh, but it basically keeps your wood really dry, which mine is already seasoned over here on the other side of the, uh, uh, of the fence here that's uh, out of frame. Folks, this is pecan wood. This is a tree that my guys and I cut down three years ago now. I uh, let it season for a year uh, in big chunks. And I had my guys uh, split it with the splitter down to what you see here. Uh, I stacked it on my stack and it's been sitting there for about, uh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. But that is fire management. You wanna have a very clean fire with very little smoke. 
Now, some people will say, man, I put my wood on there and it smokes up like a son of a bitch. There's two things that you need to, two things you need to really, really pay attention to and respect is oxygen, right? You gotta let that thing breathe, which this thing breathes like a, like a dragon. It's got this huge damper here. The dampener up there is closed. And if you can see back there in the hole, uh, the fire uh, and, and the smoke go through there and it comes up through here. I've got tuning plates. I don't know if you can see that. There's tuning plates in there. There's a little bit of water in the belly. I always keep some water in my belly um, because I find that the moisture uh, offsets the dry heat of the smoke and it keeps the product uh, relatively humidified until such time you come over here and you hit it with your spritz bottle, which um, I let my product go about an hour, two hours before I even think about spritzing it. But getting back to fire management, you wanna always make sure that your wood is very well caught. In other words, no smoke, all fire, which is what you see there. You can then close your door. I run my dampeners wide open and up here wide open. Now, what does that do? Yes, it burns more fuel. I understand that oxygen and fire eats up a lot of wood. That's okay. I'm in the tree business. Look at that, you can barely see any smoke. Barely see any smoke. So I'm in the tree business, so my wood, generally speaking, doesn't cost me much. Um, costs a little bit of labor to process down into usable pieces. And while we're talking about wood, folks, I like to use pecan. Um, pecan and red oak. I like white oak when I can get it. Um, but pecan wood seems to be being the national tree of Texas, state tree of Texas. Um, we get more pecan than we do. We get a lot of live oaks and Bradford pear, you rich, you know, it's not a fruit wood, you can't really use it. But pecan being a fruit wood, and we have a lot of it uh, here is very, uh, very handy. So let's talk about wood. We wanna burn a very clean fire. As you can see there, folks, there's almost no smoke coming out of there. And we're at what, 275 degrees? 275 degrees, and that's with the door opening. That's how quickly this thing regains. So most people, when they get a split of wood, right? you have a whole log, you split it into quarters, right? And you have this nasty bark on the outside. Folks, you don't want that. Murray, when you're smoking, make sure that you knock this bark off of there, okay? You can see this is very dry here, okay? And what I do is I take it and I drop it a few times and I take and I knock the bark off of it and I'm just left with clean wood that burns very cleanly. Now you can always save these for your fireplace or for your chimney. Uh, those burn very, very well. Uh, they're just very acidic and you don't want that kind of smoke going through your, your cooking chamber. And then these guys, they just go up top up here. Again, clean fire equals good tasting food. You'll get better color. You'll get less of a smoky, uh, over, uh, you don't want to over smoke your product. So, you know, you want a clean burning fire. You want that, that air just really moving through there, which it is, that's extremely hot. Um, but let's see, what else can we tell you about fire management? You know, about every, these things burn down relatively quickly. So about every hour I come out here and I check it, Murray, and I, uh, I add another split. I take a split off of there, I put it in there. I stoke the fire. So the ribs here, they're gonna go about two and a half hours, uh, 275, at which time uh, I'm gonna come out here and spritz them. I'm going to uh, put them in foil. I am going to hit them with a little bit more spritz, which is basically, folks, half apple cider vinegar, half water, which is what I have here. And we will spritz about every 30 minutes until we put it in the foil, put it in the foil with the spritz in there. We'll let that go for about an hour. A lot of people use the three, two, one method. If I did that in this monster here, those ribs would be disintegrated into mush. This thing cooks so fast. Once you set your, your mother temperature, um, it, this thing just cooks like a dream. So, um, I actually go two to 30 minutes, two hours unwrapped, two hours wrapped, 
and 30 minutes after I put my sauce on, unwrapped, just to set the sauce. So anyway, Murray, I hope that this uh, is, is a nice little guideline about fire management. I know I could go into more depth in depth about it, but that's the basics of it. You got to use clean wood. Don't use stuff that's been sitting on the ground for two years. It's got, you know, weevils running through it and termites. No, you don't want that. You don't want any wood that's rotten. You want a hard wood. You do not want to use a soft wood, preferably a fruit wood, oak, pecan, uh, walnut works good cherry apple whatever your part of the country i'm sure you guys have a lot of apple down there in georgia um i know myron mixon lives in unidalia georgia he gets a lot of peach wood so peach is actually my favorite wood mix that with a little bit of pecan and you really got something special so anyway folks this is just a little overview thank you very much if you watched this video uh, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button and the little bell icon because i promise you 2022 folks the Barbecue Rockstar will be posting up. Our editing will get better. We're hiring someone to help us with editing. Um, we're going to have a better product to show you. And uh, we're going to be doing drawings. We're going to be doing drawings, folks. We're going to be doing some fun stuff. Where the winner, uh, it's going to be once a month, whoever wins the drawing will actually receive whatever I'm cooking that week. We're going to cry back. We're going to put on dry ice, and we're going to ship it anywhere in the continental u.s that you might live if you win our little drawings but folks you've got to know about your barbecue and you've got to know about these guys right here lone star grills yeah folks hope you guys are having a wonderful life remember folks we only go around once make sure it's enough and eat your damn barbecue barbecue rock star out